Hey, what is up everyone? Danny and Alex. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about some functional exercises you can do using dumbbells, for example, for a combat athlete. So, for example, if you practice MMA, if you practice Muay Thai, you practice wrestling, Jiu Jitsu, um, boxing, whatever it is, these explosive exercises, these are going to enhance your strength, but also work the functionality that's transferable into the ring, the mat, or the cage. So, check it out. Okay, so now we're going to be using a pair of dumbbells. So Alex is going to grab the dumbbells from here. And now the first exercise is a static exercise. We're going to do a hammer curl into a vertical shoulder press. So from here. So now it's important to have a nice control here on your dumbbells. Keep the elbows tucked in. And now press overhead and come back. One more time. That's the hammer curl into a vertical shoulder press. All right, so on this one, I want Alex to squat down for a kettlebell swing motion, but using the dumbbell, right? So as he's going to squat down, he's going to come back up into that dumbbell or kettlebell motion as the kettlebell swing. But at the top, he's going to release and switch his grips. I want you to switch, grab the opposite hand, switch, and grab the opposite hand, okay? So go ahead. So that's one and two. And every time we go up, we use our lower body to explode up and not just the shoulder to drive the dumbbell. One more time, and up and catch, very good. And that is the one arm dumbbell swing with a switch. Okay, next up, we're gonna use the dumbbell, but now we're gonna do a one arm dumbbell snatch, okay? So from here, this is a great exercise, an Olympic lift that we usually do with a barbell, but if you have a pair of dumbbells, you can do it with single arm, all right? So from here, you're gonna get low into a squat position, and you're gonna explode up into your snatch, and then land up with the dumbbell overhead. Once again, explode up, and here we want to use our body to bring the dumbbell overhead and land into a good static position, very solid. All right, and of course, once we attain the number of repetitions on the right side, we'll just switch and do the same amount on the left. All right, next up, this one is going to be a challenging exercise, but a good one, right? We call these renegade rows. So basically, you're holding your dumbbells as such in a push-up position. Now, Alex is going to do one rep of a push-up, one, as he comes up, he's going to do a rowing motion on the left, and then a push-up again, and then a rowing motion on the right. Now, it's important to keep your core tight, stabilize yourself, stabilize your back and your hips every time you do the execution of the lowering portion, which is the push, and then the upper portion, which is the pulling motion, which is going to, want to, it's going to have that tendency to put you off balance, but this is what's going to enhance the stability in your hips and your back as well as your shoulders and also enhance the strength needed that's transferable for jiu-jitsu and mixed martial arts. Okay, next up we have a unilateral position. So basically what that means is we're going to do a movement on our right side with a different movement completely on the left, all right? So we have dumbbell presses as such and then we also have a movement called the upright roll. All right, so now I want Alex to have one side of the dumbbell press and the opposite side, the upright row. And these are going to be working unilaterally, but also in unison, right? So the upright row on one side with the shoulder press on the opposite. Once we have the amount of repetitions, we'll just switch sides. And now he's going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So one pushes, but the opposite side is going to be pulling up. All right, so Alex, go ahead, do a few reps as a demo. So here we go into a dumbbell press. Yes, exactly. Notice how he keeps his body straight. And I will switch sides. Usually we'll do anywhere from five to 10 repetitions. And then switch. And one more. Very good. This is a great exercise for your shoulders and it builds a lot of strength. Okay, so the next exercise won't require dumbbells. This is going to be a body weight explosivity exercise, but this is going to be the split jump. Okay, so Alex is going to get into a stance, and from here he's going to explode up and switch his base. He's going to go one, boom, boom, boom. And always alternating driving from the feet. Of course, every time you go up, you explode from the quadriceps, and also your ankles are pushing your body weight up. Very good. And this is a great exercise for lower body conditioning and it builds a lot of cardiovascular endurance required for our sport. Okay, next up, Alex is going to grab the dumbbells once again. And this one's going to be the dumbbell squat. So Alex is going to get into a squatting position, but as he comes up, I want him to bring 
a clean as well as a press at the top, okay? So dumbbell squat to clean and press. So one, boom, and explode up, and come back. That's two, and explode, and one more. Up, into a clean and press. So this is a great exercise for power, and um, depending on the weights you're gonna be using for the dumbbells, I would always recommend you start lighter, and then build up as your strength increases for the exercise, but don't start too high, because this is a, a type of exercise that you can injure your shoulders and your back if you're not careful with. Okay, this last exercise, using your dumbbells, we're gonna do a vertical raise. Vertical meaning your palms are gonna stay by your sides. We're gonna go up into a vertical position, lower the dumbbells, and then sideways into a side lateral position. So we're gonna combine the front raise with a side raise, so vertical front raise into a side lateral raise. All right, so vertical up and then side from here. Okay, so Alex, do a few reps here, okay. So vertical raise, one, and side lateral. Very good, one more, vertical raise into a side lateral. Really good exercise that we can do, it's almost two exercises in one for your shoulders. All right guys, so there you have it. Some different conditioning exercises, very functional for mixed martial artists, for jiu-jitsu practitioners, wrestlers, boxers, kickboxers, any martial arts you practice, these exercises are functional exercises for your sport. Guys, hope you enjoyed this content. Leave us a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe for more content just like this one. We will see you in your next video. Take care.